Now, over the years in college football, players and coaches come and go. But here at the University of Iowa, one constant remains, a voice. A voice Iowa fans from all across the country tune in their radios to every Saturday in the fall to listen to the Hawks beat down on the Big Ten. But the road to the press box isn't easy. This spring, DITV Sports is unveiling a new documentary featuring the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. But until then, here's a little sneak peek. Take a look. Live from Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, this is Hawkeye Football. I love listening to the radio. My folks had given me a little spin dial transistor radio when I was like in third grade, and that's how I was introduced to Jack Buck and Harry Carey. You could bring in all these wonderful 50,000 watt radio stations at night and listen to all these great baseball announcers. That's kind of how I got booked. So I get to my senior year in high school and I'm thinking, well, you know what, I'll be pumping gas most of my life in Cascade, Iowa. I sat down with my guidance counselor and he said, well, what are you going to do with your life after you get out of high school? Well, he said, did you ever think about mass communications or journalism? Well, I hadn't. And so we researched broadcast schools. I ended up in Minneapolis at Brown Institute, which is a great radio TV school. And then I just wanted to get out and work. Got my first job in Southern Illinois, down around St. Louis, kind of bounced around there to a couple different radio stations. So I get a call out of the blue one day from a member of the search committee here, and they said, hey, we're just curious as to why you haven't applied for the, um, uh, for the Iowa job. And he said, hey, we're gonna hire a new play-by-play -play boy, brand new Voice of the Hawks. Uh, so I applied, got the job. Nine seconds to play, and Drew Tate doesn't know that. The game's going to end on this play. He fires downfield. It's caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Iowa. No time on the clock. Marvin McNutt on the catch on the final play of the game. The Hawkeyes defeat Michigan State 15-13. From the 23-yard line, it's a 33-yard kick. Tyler Kluver with a snap. The spot. The kick is on the way. It's gone. It's gone. Iowa wins 14-13. 14-13, back to the future, 1985, revisited. And Iowa knocks off 9-0, unbeaten until now, the Michigan Wolverines. 21 years later, here we are. Now all of us here at DITV are very excited for, for the unveiling, so be sure to keep an eye out for that in the spring.